Hi ho, we're at Mar Club. I'm starting uh, as a DM for a Dungeons and Dragons homebrew campaign. And I need to prepare everything. Hoo hoo hoo. So, yeah. Hm. DM screen? Yeah, DM screen. So I'm thinking what materials do I have? I don't want to spend any money on my first DM screen because I will not like it after some sessions and will have to change it anyway. So I did some research on the internet. Professor Dungeon Master has this really cool idea made from uh, CD jewel cases. The miniature Dungeon Master screen. But he knows all the rules. I don't know all the rules. So I need more space. This one guy from Skill Tree, he's made this really fancy pantsy DM screen made from wood and stuff and magnets. But for my first one, that's overkill. And then I have seen this really cool thing by Rob Dunn. It's a cardboard and then some plastic file holder, paper holder thingies to swap them out. But then it's a lot of computer work for the design stuff. So also overkill. And then I've seen uh, all my rubbish laying around and I thought, hey, I'll just use this cardboard quick and easy and ultra cheap and if it doesn't work out it does not matter I can just do another one then so let's figure out the height and width and stuff and cut it I realized that my metal rulers are not in the studio so I used some big sheets of MDF as rulers <laughs> to cut straight lines with a relatively sharp blade. The sharper, the better. Yeah, this is already usable. Like it, like it, like it. The height is okay. I can grab over it without pushing it around and got enough space for all this stuff I want to put there. I want to tape small printed out pieces of paper there. The tape will rip off the cardboard. So I'll uh, put on a coat of paint there. I got this bucket of white lacquer. It's not acrylic paint, it's lacquer. It makes this uh, smooth surface and uh, I can put tape on and off and it does not rip apart the paper pieces. Yeah, quick and dirty. In the meantime, I made some measuring sticks for my players with the maximum speed walking range. I stole some cool looking paper tape from my kids. Here is a piece of paper with the basic player info on it. And enough space to write a little bit more while gaming. Rearranged everything already. For now, I think that is enough, but I will change it over time and then maybe if I know what I want to have, uh, I will make a nicer one. Maybe not from this lousy cardboard, but for now it's totally fine. I got an idea. Let's make inspiration points, coins. <laughs> I got another idea. Let's make a playmat. <laughs> a boat! Where the players can ride the boat on directly. It's the first encounter. They start there. My boat is a tavern. Yeah, they start in the tavern. Then, if the boat is a tavern, but it is not, it's a boat. Yeah, I don't start in a tavern. They start on the ocean. With a off-camera painted dungeon master screen. Three cans. Spray cans. So here are the three um, pieces of the boat, lower deck, upper deck, and the roof of the captain's quarter. So you can use it stacked or beside each other, how you like to play. The measuring sticks, the inspiration coins, some scattered terrain or cover and stuff like that. I made that long before. The captain, Roson the first mate and two bad guys officers quartermaster and uh, yeah another one two officers some civilians and of course our heroes painted up some minis for my adventurers and then we have the crew i painted up 20 pirates
Uh, I bought a folder, a binder, and uh, wrote down some basic info. Collect mostly monster stats and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, first session was a success. It was really fun. Uh, players were wowed. Uh, they did not expect that. They don't know what I do. It's a new group and uh, they don't know what I do for a hobby. <laughs> yeah, that that's for the first session. I guess there will be some more. See ya!